Yay! It's so pretty outside. Baby wheelies! <laughs> Just kidding, apparently. You know, I'm not much of a car girl. I mean, don't get me wrong, I will always love a nice Subaru. <laughs> uh, but I don't really know a whole lot about cars. To be honest, I didn't really know a whole lot about motorcycles before I had my own. Oh, gosh. Woo. Helping with the heat, I guess. It's wet. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, I bought this motorcycle for myself. 93 CBR 900. And it definitely has been a fixer-upper. It's nice to be able to have it being reliable for the first time since I got it. Um, being a girl on a budget and having a motorcycle that needs repairs. You get used to uh, looking stuff on YouTube real quick. That's for sure. Newest thing that's popped up. Hey, my foot peg fell off. Um, that was fun. I was going over some crazy train tracks. So of course I stood up. <laughs> Had all of my weight and my big booty. I should have known. I should have known this thing was going to break with my big butt. So I, I sit up on him and my foot peg just popped off while I had all of my weight on it. And of course my bike flung to the side that it fell off of, which just so happened to be the right side. And I was in the left lane, so I almost slammed into the car next to me, you know, but, uh, good thinking on my feet so I was able to save myself and not die so that's good and uh, I pulled over I went back found my foot peg that had broken off yeah rode home with my foot on the side of the frame so luckily that was my brake foot and not my shift foot. So I don't understand how that thing can just pop off like that. I mean, ugh, anyways, making me feel like I need to eat more salads. <laughs> this is kind of nice. I like the trees. You know, I'll give Virginia that. Virginia is beautiful. I wish I lived where Double T lives. Ah, oh, Double T, I swear. I don't think, well, yeah, this is only my second video, so yeah, I don't think I've discussed my my lady boner, my lady motorcycle boner for Double T. He's probably one of the first people I saw doing these kinds of videos. And uh, I've had a crush on him ever since. Double T lives in this area where they're just like straight flat roads that go for like miles it seems like and he just says wheelies down them and he's like wheelies and it's just like I feel like that's what heaven is <laughs> his wheelie his wheelies down roads with double T <laughs> oh gosh yeah and oh hello yeah, that's right. I wave scooters. I I do and also don't understand why scooters get so much heat. Like why why does the motorcyclist community dislike scooters so much? I've never personally been on one, but I have a friend who has one. And you know what? They're on two wheels, even if they are smaller wheels. And they're ducking and dodging and on busy roads just like us. So why do, why do people dislike them so much? It's just like when 
I wave to a, I don't know, someone on a cruiser, you know, and I'm like, hey, and they don't wave back when it's obvious that they've seen you. I don't understand that. You know, they don't know what I have at home. I have a shadow at home. I bet if I was on my shadow, they would have waved to me. And then when I'm on my shadow and sports bike people don't wave back, even though they've seen you. I don't understand that. I mean, why can't we all just get along? <laughs> why can't we all just be friends? <laughs> if I take the, the energy out of my body to extend my hand, then I expect the same. Unless you're like on the freeway or you're obviously not seeing me, then I don't really care. Ooh. Let's ride with this person, see if they'll let me join them. Hi! Hi! <laughs> I think I might be making him uncomfortable. Oh, how I envy floorboards sometimes. Where are you going, my friend? Aw, goodbye. I don't think he likes me very much. <laughs> Doesn't like me all up in his face. 